The Seattle International Film Festival, held annually in Seattle, Washington since 1976, is among the top film festivals in North America. Audiences have grown steadily. The 2006 festival had 160,000 attendees. In recent years, the SIFF has run for more than three weeks, in May, June, and features a diverse assortment of predominantly independent and foreign films and, in recent years, a strong contingent of documentaries. SIFF 2006 included 300-plus films and was the first SIFF to include a venue in neighboring Bellevue, Washington, after an ill-fated early attempt. However, in 2008, the festival was back to being entirely in Seattle, and had a slight decrease in the number of feature films. The 2010 festival featured over 400 films, shown primarily in downtown Seattle and its nearby neighborhoods, but also in Renton, Kirkland, and Juanita Beach Park. History the festival began in 1976 at a then-independent cinema's The Moore Egyptian Theatre. The first five festivals were held at The Moore Egyptian, now back under its earlier name The Moore Theatre and functioning as a concert venue. When founders Dan Ireland and Daryl MacDonald of The Moore Egyptian lost their lease, they founded the Egyptian Theatre in a former Masonic temple on Seattle's Capitol Hill. The Egyptian Theatre remains a prime festival venue to this day, although the festival now typically uses about half a dozen cinemas, with the exact roster varying from year to year. During the 1980s, SIFF audiences developed a reputation for appreciating films that did not fit standard industry niches such as Richard Rush's multi-layered The Stuntman. SIFF was instrumental in the entry of Dutch films into the United States market, including the first major American success for director Paul Verhoeven. The nature of the festival The festival includes a component that is unique among major film festivals a four-film secret festival. Those who attend the secret festival do not know in advance what they will see, and they must sign an oath that they will not reveal afterwards what they have seen. In general, SIFF has a reputation as an audience festival rather than an industry festival. The festival often partially overlaps the Cannes Film Festival, which can reduce attendance by industry bigwigs. In 2007 there were two days of overlap. May 24 and 25. The SIFF group also curates the Global Lens film series, The Screenwriters Salon, and Futurewave coordinates SIFF Agogo travel programs, and co-curates the One Real Film Festival at Bumbershoot and the Sci-Fi Shorts Film Festival at the Science Fiction Museum and Hall of Fame. In 2006, Longhouse Media launched the Superfly Filmmaking Experience, in partnership with the Seattle International Film Festival, which brings youth together from diverse backgrounds to work collaboratively on film projects that promote awareness of indigenous issues and mutual understanding of each other's cultures. Fifty youth from across the United States arrive in Seattle to then travel to a local Pacific Northwest reservation to create four films in 36 hours. SIFF Cinema, November 28, 2006 SIFF and Seattle Mayor Greg Nichols announced that SIFF will soon have a home and a year-round screening facility in what has been the Nezum family. Lecture Hall of McCaw Hall, the same building at Seattle Center that houses the Seattle Opera. The city contributed $150,000 to the $350,000 project. This auditorium was a flagship venue for SIFF festivals and the site of most press screenings. Shortly after the 2011 festival, SIFF moved its operations to the SIFF Film Center on the Seattle Center campus. The Film Center includes a 90-seat multi-use theater, multimedia classroom, exhibition spaces, archives, and offices for SIFF and the film school. 
In October 2011, SIFF Cinema moved from the core hall to its current location in the Uptown Theater. SIFF utilizes all three of the Uptown's three screens for year-round programming. SIFF currently has year-round programming for four screens in Seattle. In May 2014 it was announced that SIFF had purchased the Uptown Theater, and would be leasing and renovating the Egyptian Theater from Seattle Central College. Awards since 1985, the Seattle International Film Festival has awarded the Golden Space Needle Award each year to the festival's most popular movie. Ballots are cast by audience members at the end of each movie. Previous winners of the Golden Space Needle include Whale Rider for 2003, Train Spotting for 1996, Kiss of the Spider Woman for 1985, and Boyhood for 2015 the latter two being the only films to be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture and win the Golden Space Needle. Golden Space Needle and SIFF Awards for Best Short and Documentary SIFF Awards for Best Director, Actress and Actor Jury Awards Premieres Among the films that have received North American or World Premieres at SIFF are Alien, Ridley Scott, Arafat, My Brother, Rashid Masharawi, Banliwa 13, Pierre Morel, Burning in the Wind, Silvio Soldani, Creature, Paris Patton, Ghost World, Terry Zwigoff, I Murder Seriously, Antonio Arusha, Joshua Tree, 1951, A Portrait of James Dean, Matthew Mishori, Last Days, Gus Van Sant, Mars, Anna Melikian, Mongolian Ping Pong, Ning Hao, Monster House, Gil Keenan, Nate Dog, Thomas Ferrone, PTU, Johnny Two, Tomorrow's Weather, Jersey Stir, Gala Event Films.